What are we even doing here? We're going to Canada, or rather, Canada has come to us because we're going to be enjoying Gold Seal Wild Smoked Mackerel. Gin and tonic flavored. These were sent to me, no, they were hand delivered to me by my buddy, Joe Cherovino. He's a pinball guy. Joe brought these gold seal sardines and mackerel. I got a whole, oh no. I got a whole mess of them. Yeah, we got some sardines. We got some other mackerel. But like the, the, the thing that I really, really wanted that he provided was these gin and tonic ones. And like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Gin and tonic, like I like a gin and tonic, right? Yeah, sure. But gin and tonic with my fish? I don't know, I don't know. Macro sauvage fumé. So yeah, savage. He's a savage. savage. He was a pride yes. middle Whatever, week. what does it say? Hot smoked mackerel, salt, sunflower oil, juniper berry oil, coriander seed oil. So it's not so much like gin, but it's got that juniper thing happening in it. That's, you know, that's the flavor of gin. So it's not like a gin and tonic is inside of this can and the fish are just like relaxing in that. Thank you, Joe Cherovino for sending this in. Let's open it. I've been waiting for so long. This stuff is on like amazon.ca, but you can't you can't order it if you're an American. Oh damn, and it is smoked. It is pretty smoky. And um, I'm currently awaiting some fishwife smoked mackerel too. So this is uh this is going to be a good comparison. Yeah, look how smoky it is. And these are nice little fillets. These are nice sides. Good smell. It's not like some kind of juniper smell. It's really, really jumping out at me. Oh my God. And let's look at the skin. Beautiful babies. Yeah. Look at this dimpling that the skin has taken on through the process. Cowabunga, cowabunga. It's worth it just to look at these guys. Who cares what they even taste like, you know? Look at that. I'm just gonna see if I can split it apart here. Reasonably soft. Mackerel does tend to have like, kind of this, um, it's not stringiness, but it's sort of a chew that happens because of the sort of the kind of more broader organization of the muscle fibers than you find in like a sardine, you know? There's that juniper taste. The skin fights you just a little bit. Great, great, great um, resistance there. And actually the texture of it is uh, less tough than I thought it would be. And, oh, this is delicious. This is really delicious. It's actually quite a bit of fat content just beneath the skin. Um, I'm gonna see if I can like rip off the skin for you and we can see like, how does that really play out? I'm not doing a great job. delicious and then we can kind of look at the inside Cowabunga. not not totally different from other mackerel that we've had but you know I think uh, smoked mackerel is um, you know it, I think that's new for us and I really don't think I've had it with this kind of texture this is really neat. This is a product of Scotland, by the way. I think this is the piece too. Real fatty feeling. You can you can see how these guys are kind of going. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm just gonna use my hands. I can't help it. Oh yeah. Pretty sure that this is the bite. I was right. I was right. 
best bite in the can right there. Oh, maybe this is maybe this is a good bite too because we're getting towards the tail. Love how that goes. Wow, that looks so tasty, Matt. Hey, we got a couple new friends of the files today. Yup, calling out Ronnie Suburban. Hey, Ronnie. And Canny Cajuns. That's Mimi and her boy. Hi, guys. Thanks to all the Patreons for their direct support. And thank you to all the viewers. Even if this is your first video of mine you're watching, this is just another thing on planet Earth. And you all are helping to keep it together. Back to the show. I never thought I'd be jealous of Canadians, you know? They're up there with their public health care and their handsome young prime minister. I heard that guy's uh, getting a divorce or something. Justin Trudeau. He's back on the market, ladies or gentlemen. Golly, what else do I have to say? I feel like I, I kind of, well, uh, part of my process creatively is I hold these cans in my hand before shooting and I kind of, I kind of riff in my mind about what could I talk about, what could I say? But I feel like just uh, all, all the jokes about how weird gin and tonic mackerel could be have sort of evaporated because I'm really, really pumped up about the quality of the product. Gold Seal. If you can smuggle them south of the border, give them a shot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.